Hello everyone, welcome to lesson number six. We are almost done with the course. We have modeled all of our character. You can see how cute it looks. It's looking really nice. But now it's time for a very important part of the 3D and it is the lighting because we can model anything on Cinema 4D we can create the best model that we can create we can create a, an amazing character but if we miss the lighting and if we miss the materials then we will we won't have anything worth so the lighting is really important because this is what will set the mood and the personality of the entire graphic so creating the lights on Cinema 4D isn't so easy I mean it's easy but we have to learn how to properly set them up so that the the character looks good because for example if I put a light and place it here behind the monster the monster will be darker but if I place this same light in front of the monster then the the character will be bright so it's uh, it's just like on real life if we <laughs> hit a lamp here behind the monster then the monster will be darker because the light is placing on the back of the monster so here I will show you how to properly set the lights up so that the object can look good now the first thing that we're going to do is to set up the camera just click here on the camera and let's see how we can let's add a nice view for a camera I think this view is fine because we can see almost the entire monster and we have some nice perspective so let's set the camera here so I'm going to turn on the camera right here and I can set, set it off okay now if I move anywhere on the viewport I can click here and go back to my camera view okay now we set the camera and now it's time to add a studio because right now this monster is floating in the space so I want to create a studio because when the lights when we put the lights we need the lights to reflect onto something so that the light can bounce and go to the monster itself so creating um, a studio is quite easy it may seem like a hard task but it's actually very very easy to create let's go to the right view let's fix this view just a little bit okay now anywhere here just grab here on the splines grab the rectangle take the rectangle here okay now click here on rounding so that this rectangle is a rounded rectangle and set the radius to a hundred instead of fifteen okay a hundred is nice now to create the studio all you need to do is to first let's increase the size maybe to six hundred or maybe even more let's bring it to a thousand yeah I think this is fine we can fix them later if we want now with this rectangle we have to make this editable so press C and now the spline is editable which means that we can delete some of these points now grab your life selection tool and you will delete some of these points make sure that close spline is unchecked now start deleting this point make sure it's unselected well let's delete this side instead close spline now delete this delete this one too 
and delete this point and you will have this shape actually let's delete this one too you will have this L shaped now just grab this point and let's bring it a little to the right so that it's a little wider and this can be uh, this size is good now bring the whole spline right here on the floor you can see how this is the floor and our up monster is st standing there now that we have this select your rotation tool and rotate it on the y-axis 118 degrees and place it here now to make sense of this this is what we're going to do grab your rectangle and now take this extrude object and place the rectangle into the extrude now this rectangle will be extruded all we need to do is to increase the extrude so place set this to zero and on the x-axis we're going to increase the movement a lot maybe 2000 yeah I think 2000 is good and you can see that we now have an L-shaped studio so all we need to do is to bring this to the middle and we have created our studio now the lights will bounce on this nice little studio let's make sure that the camera sees everything we can set this a little bit more we can increase the movement maybe to 3000 okay and finally let's go to the right view and we will select again this point on the spline and we will take this point a little to the right so that we have a little angle here so that the lights will bounce better into the monster okay So we're good with the studio. We can call this maybe background. Now let's set the layout to standard and let's fix a little bit of the view of the camera. I want this view to be a little bit closer, not too much. We can change the position. Okay just like this because I want the monster to look big enough alright now let's start creating the lights alright as I said before the lights are really important because I want this object to be to look very smooth but I want them to be a little shiny so what we need to do is first let's create an omni light let's create a light here it will be here now don't worry about it looking like this don't worry about the position either go to light make sure it's on omni let's lower the intensity to 50 percent and I'm going to change this to ambient illumination make sure your this is checked and let's remove a specular okay now you won't see anything at all but it will work out in the end when we add the material so for now we can turn off this light and let's call this global light because this is the light that will be covering all of the project and now let's this is our camera view now let's bring a new area light let's bring it here
make sure it's big enough like this now let's rotate it so that it gets here on 90 degrees and let's go to the front view and place this on the right side of the monster like this is fine now go to general and make sure that on shadow you select area shadows okay let's go back to our perspective and we have the first light actually let's take it a little bit to the right and a little lower here now let's create a duplicate of this light first let's change the color right now it's on full white I don't want it to be full light I want it to be a little bit dark like a, a, a very pale gray just like this okay now I'm going to create a duplicate of this light and place it here on the left side so we're creating just like a little box here in the, on the monster now these two first I'm going to create a copy here you can turn it off for now and these two I want it to be a little bit rotated just like this okay now for the copy I want this copy to be right here on front of this monster and I want it to rotate completely so that it goes right in front of the monster now just place it in front here on the top view and let's go to the top view place this light farther away and this light will be bigger just like this you can see if we take it closer how the lights change I want it to be over here maybe yeah I think this is fine and finally I want another copy of this place right here on top select the front view and I want it to be completely on top of the monster right here you can see the little lights here when I place them you can see on the top this is what I want let's place it farther away and maybe this is a little bit bigger okay now you can see that we created a little box kind of like a box for our monster now finally I want these lights to be a little less intense right now they are on a hundred I'm going to change this to 65 percent on all of them we can change this later actually for the front light I'm going to stay with 80 percent so now we are set with the lights we have some nice lights here and for now we have this you can see well it's taking a little bit more time to render because I'm recording so we have to be patient okay we can see how the the lights are acting right now but when we add the materials is when we are going to really see what we are getting here with with the monster so for now we can leave it like this oh remember to turn on the global light now if I hit render you can see how 
the lights are really really nice because they are like super soft and the object looks so much sm smoother now now it's time to create some materials some really nice materials so that we can finish this little guy so let's go to the next lesson